Welcome to another Flipdish tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to add a bank account on our Flipdish portal. When you log into the portal, you'll be automatically on the home page. If you haven't added a bank account yet, you will see at the top of the page set up bank account. You can click go to setup, which will take you to the setup page. However, if you don't see that prompt at the top of your homepage, you can also scroll down on the left hand side of the page, click on more and then click banking. This will show you if you've got any bank accounts added currently. Whether you do or don't, if you would like to add an extra bank account or even just your first bank account, click on add account in the bottom right hand corner. Then you'll be prompted to enter some very simple information. First of all, the address of the bank account that you are adding. So I'm going to select the country here, United States of America, and add in the address of my very fictitious bank. You will then be asked to select an account type, whether it will be a company account or an individual or sole proprietorship. It's very important that you select the correct option here. The bank account is in my name and is not a registered company, so I'm going to click individual. Then I just enter the name of the bank, the name on the account, the account number, and in this case, because the bank is in America, I will need to add a routing number. I can then add the account holder's address and the country. Then I need to assign this bank account to a specific store. This is an incredibly important part of the process, as you may have other stores whose payouts need to be made to a different bank account. Once you've selected the correct store, click add account at the bottom of the page. You'll be prompted then to verify with Stripe. This is very important in order to accept payments and pay you for orders, you need to verify your account details. To complete this process, you will be redirected to Stripe and then back to Flipdish after completing the flow. I clicked verify with Stripe. You'll be asked some simple questions about your business. Again, you'll be asked to select if the account is the account of an individual, a company or a non-profit organization. You will then be asked for the legal name of the account holder, their email address, their date of birth and their home address. You will also be asked to enter the phone number and the last four digits of your social security number if you're a United States customer. This information may be different depending on where in the world your bank is based. You will then be asked to enter the URL of your business website. So I'm gonna enter pizzacafe.net. As you can see, I'm now presented with a verification summary. However, it's been highlighted to me in red that more information is required. All I have to do is click the update button to proceed. As you can see, I left out the second line of my address, the zip code, and the system is now asking for my full social security number. Once I've entered that, I can click done and then click done again. Now that we've completed the first step of the verification process, Stripe will now review the information over the coming days. They will then reach out to you again should they need additional information. It is most likely that the second part of the verification process will require photo ID to be submitted. You will receive an email when that additional information is required. For more information on Stripe verification, please see our help article located in the description of this video.